welcome back. So today I thought I would get ready with you and show you my like get your makeup on, get out the door look that I like to do. This is not using like BB creams or anything like that. This is just like minusing out a bunch of different things that I normally do when I apply my makeup. Whenever I do wear makeup, I like to have a nice full coverage finish, at least a full coverage base, and then light on the eyes. I've had a lot of you request me to do this, so I figured I would go ahead and film another one for you, especially since I have some new products that I've been using. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so when I do makeup looks that I need to hurry up and get going, which I actually really do, I have some errands to run today, and I need to leave in like an hour, which I'll be done by then. When I have makeup looks that I need to do quickly, I always do my base makeup first because I keep my eyes pretty light. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. I was actually supposed to go traveling. So I have my makeup bag right here of all my stuff in it, so I'm probably going to be digging around in here. One thing that I do want to try differently is trying a new face primer today. So I have the Smashbox Primer Water. You know, I love this. I just love it because it hydrates my skin, but it doesn't make me super oily or anything like that. It's just one of my staples. I notice a difference when I don't use it. So I'm going to be spraying this, and then normally I would use the Kanan Austin Mattifying Primer. But today I want to try this J Cat Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. I just got this in PR, and I was like, ooh, drugstore mattifying primer, oil-free, pore minimizing. I'm going to try this. Normally when I do my makeup, I love a full coverage look. I love full on smoky eyes. I love full coverage base just because I don't wear makeup every single day. Like I'm either like a no makeup kind of girl or I'll do something like today where I'm doing something lighter on the eyes or then I'm completely full glam. There's no in between. Like I don't do BB creams or anything like that just because I'm never happy with the coverage. I'm never happy with the way it makes my skin look. I feel like I'd much rather go without anything on my skin than having a light coverage and you could still see the rosacea peeking through. That is this, oh, this is like a weird, huh, that makes me nervous. I for sure thought this was gonna be like a cream or something. This is interesting. Hmm, this doesn't feel too, too hot. This is making me think that my it's going to make my foundation slide and like the foundation is not going to stick to it. So I'm going to be using my new favorite foundation. I just did a video on it. It's my last one. You can see a wear test and all of that. But I'm going to be using the YSL All Hours Foundation. I did get a different shade. I actually got the shade 60 Amber. I thought it would match me self tan wise and it's too gray for me. So I'm going to be returning this and ordering a different shade. So I'm just going to use the ones that I showed you guys last time which is... I'm going to use Honey actually. I'm going to use Honey today because sand is still a little bit too light for me and then I am going to put this on with a beauty blender I like this foundation a lot because it is lightweight by the way it's a L'Oreal sponge not a beauty blender I'm sorry but it covers so well I just I really have been enjoying it um, I wore it out the other night as well when Davis and I went on a date night I wore this and he really likes it too he thinks it looks really good on my skin this I'm still trying it out I'm really trying it out a lot right now since it's kind of like a wedding contender I also want to try to mix this with double wear and just see how it looks. I don't know. I feel like I want to make a concoction <laughs> of foundations. I've been trying out so many. Um, and a lot of you have asked me if I prefer this over the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I think the Hourglass Stick Foundation is great. As you guys know, I really love that foundation. The difference is this one is lightweight, especially compared to the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This still covers a lot. But it's just, it feels lighter on the skin. Don't get me wrong. I love Double Wear and I love the Hourglass Foundation. But this one definitely just feels a little bit better. And to me, it looks more like skin. This one definitely keeps me more matte than the Hourglass one. All right, now we're going to do regular concealers. I like long-wearing concealers whenever I'm out for the day because usually when I'm running errands, I don't touch up. So I'm just going to be using my same old concealers, which is Tarte Shape Tape and then Maybelline Fit Me. I love doing my concealer down like this because it still brightens up and highlights the face. I also take it on my lid whenever I am just running errands because I'm not going to have a lot of eyeshadow on. I don't ever prime my eyelids with concealer if I'm doing a full blown smoky eye or something that I really want it to last all day and not crease because my eyeshadow will crease with concealer like it's not a good primer for me because I have really oily eyelids so that's just my personal preference I don't prefer it I even set it with a powder and my oils just come through on my eyelids I'm just an oily girl 
all the way around but on days like today I just throw a shade into the crease and then it doesn't really matter you know if it creases or whatever to me I can just kind of pat it on my fingers whereas if I had a smoky eye or something that's more detailed I'm gonna mess it up if I try to fix it with my fingers. So we're not gonna set just yet, and I know you're probably like, what, what are you doing? I know, I've been doing cream contour lately. I'm actually going to be using the Smashbox Duo right here. I haven't tried the foundation side of this yet, but I really like the contour side. I'm gonna be using the shade 2.3 out of this Duo right here. And I just take the lightest amount, because it is pretty dark. Contour that five hair widescreen TV. I haven't used this foundation side just yet. Um, Davis's mom actually swatched it because I told her she could pick a shade. But this is the shade 2.3 and I've only used the contour but I do really love the contour side. I think it is awesome. I'm using this tart brush to contour and blend everything out. You see how easy that just blended out? Like it's so effortless. It doesn't like break up the foundation or anything. It just gives you that nice defined cheek. I've also been using the Urban Decay Naked Skin, um, the contour palette with the cream side. I've been using that as well and I really like it. Kind of gives you a nice little tan. Blend out the edges with the bottom of my beauty blender. So I'm just going to go around the edges real quick. Also kind of take whatever was left from concealer and carve out the cheeks. Okay, so you can see we have some warmth to the face and it's contoured and we're good. So now I'm going to use, I've been going back and forth with this Estee Lauder Perfecting Loose Powder and also the new Too Faced Born This Way powder. I'm like, I've had a bad experience, well not a bad experience, but I've kind of felt cakey with this at some points. This one I'm kind of nervous to have flashback, so I'm just going back and forth with both of them. But so far I like both of them, but for day to day, I think I'm going to use this one. Actually, no. I think I'm going to use this one since I'm not taking any pictures. I need to take pictures with it with flash and test it out, so don't quote me on if this has flashback. I'm just taking a wild guess because of the formula and just how it applies, but we will see. I'm going to just take my sponge first, and I'm going to go underneath my eyes. I'm not baking too much. I'm just trying to get right to that lash line and set it so nothing creases. So we're not really baking here. I've kind of stayed away from baking. Isn't that crazy? It's the Mr. Right brush. We're just going to set the contour and all of that. Now I am going to use this Smashbox step-by-step -step contour palette. And I'm going to use the more bronzy warm tone shade in here to just bronze up the cheeks. blends out so well too. This one's the medium one, I believe. And they also have a deeper one. So if you're interested, they do have a deeper shade. I'm just gonna add a little bit up here too. Underneath the cheekbones with the contour shade in here. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just taking a little Real Techniques brush, dabbing it in. You need a little list amount anyways to really carve it out. And then I am going to blend it out with a dual fiber brush. I love more of a bronzy look if I don't have enough time to really do too much. This dual fiber brush is from MUA Makeup Academy, right? Yeah, uh, you can get it at CVS. It's really good. I use it constantly. And then what I'm going to do really quickly is I am going to take a little bit more of a precise brush. I like this Morphe one, M529. And I'm just going to take this little guy and highlight a little bit more underneath my eyes. You see the brightness that this, that just gave? Highlights just a little bit more. We have to add a little highlight. Gonna use the pearl palette. I know some of you are so sick of me talking about this, but look, I hit pan on the lighter one. <laughs> I need like 15 more Smashbox. So I'm actually gonna mix the first two shades. Apply that. I do like to have highlight on when I'm running errands, I feel like it just makes a big difference. It just makes you glow, you know? And you can build this up too if you want it super intense. And then I'm also going to take that same contour palette. This is what I do a lot. I'll just take that warm shade in there and I'll use a fluffy blending brush, that warm tone, 
and throw this into my crease. I bring it all the way here in the inner corner. That's one thing about like contour palettes that I love is I use them a lot for eyeshadow as well. So if I'm traveling, I'll normally just toss something in like this. That way I can get a nice like warm eye but also contour with it. It's like a two-in-one for me. It really does vary like what I want to do sometimes. Um, but today I am going to contour my nose just a little bit. Let me know if you guys have used this contour and foundation duo. I'm interested to see. I have two shades that I want to try out, so maybe I'll do that in like a first impressions kind of video. Okay, so now we're going to move on to brows, and I'm going to just... I've been experimenting with brows lately. This is the stroke of brow I've been using by Ardell, and I do really like it. It's just so easy to use. I finally got another shade, Taupe. And it's just easy to kind of hurry up and fill them in. Just haven't quite mastered using this on its own. I find that I definitely have to go in with concealer quite a bit to clean up my brow, so I'll probably be doing that. Um, but I just have the hardest time trying to perfect my brows when it's not with a pomade. But this is really easy to use and that's why I love it. Just fix them up a bit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set those brows because I'm not used to not having a pomade. The Stroke of Brow like Feather Pen it doesn't like, it's not heavy at all. It's just literally painting on your skin pretty much. So I definitely have to set my brows and to do that, is it in my makeup bag? To do that, I've just been using this Givenchy Master Brow Filler, but honestly you could use anything. You can use the Essence Brow Gel that has a tint to it. Benefit Gimme Brows, great too. I just need to use this. I purchased it and like I need to use it up because it was expensive. I like using this because it just lightens up the brows a bit and then I'll run my spoolie through and just get all that excess product out. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Another thing I like to do is line the upper waterline right here. What that's going to do is make the base of your lashes look a lot fuller. So we're going to do that. But I have been using a brown liner recently from Pure Cosmetics. This is the On Point Eyeliner in Down to Earth. I've been really loving it. Every Yes, I'm getting my nails done today. That's one thing I'm doing. Um, but it also sharpens every time you put it in the cap so that's really nice I just never show you guys me lining my upper waterline because I find it really gross <laughs> and I've been really liking brown even on my waterline it's just a little less harsh so I've just been using that then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply this Essence Volume Stylus Lash Extension Mascara which is really good really really good I mean really good this is like one of those mascaras that you can wear even if you have more of a dramatic look you can wear this because it adds so much to your lashes. I mean, like, look at that volume. It's insane. It's like a three, four dollar mascara. And then, last but not least, we're gonna do lips. Now, I want to try this out because I just purchased it. I'm like wondering what the craze is all about. This is the new Pat McGrath lipstick in 1995. It's the Matte Trance lipstick, and it looks really cool. So. This is what it looks like. It is super matte. It's kind of like got a rounded edge to it. I've just been interested to try it. Normally I use a liquid lip. It's a pretty color. So that is pretty much my on the go makeup look. Keeping it more bronzed. I still do my brows. I do my lashes. Okay, so I just added some waves to my hair. I had some extra time, so I figured I would just go ahead and do my hair because normally I do my hair and then I don't touch it for a couple days. Um, if you're wondering, I still use this new me 32 millimeter wand. Um, for a heat protectant, I've been using the Way Hair Care Memory Mist. I don't notice that this keeps my curls longer or anything. I mean, they last pretty much the same, but I do like it as a heat protectant. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this IGK Beach Club texturizing spray. I like to add a little bit of grit to my hair if I just washed it that way. Mm, this smells so good too. But that way I just have a little bit more grit. You know, things aren't flying around everywhere too much. Very loosely curl my hair and that's how I get this look. Because um, you can see even some strands are straighter than others. That's just because I don't hold it on the iron for long. But that is it for this video. The one thing I will say is I did try out this face primer as you guys saw. And I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. I can kind of feel 
that I'm not going to like it. I don't know. It's just one of those products that I feel like it's going to try to make me more oily than I actually am. Not sure if this is going to be a hit for me, so I wouldn't purchase that unless you really want to because I don't know if that's going to work. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!